Uh, Matt Villani, we're here in Philadelphia. Back in Philadelphia, Matt. Let's talk about it. Let's get right to it. Uh, you were up at uh, Columbia for two years. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you're back, uh, back at the alma mater. Yep. Talk about the, the decision to come back and, and why you're probably glad to be back in Philadelphia. Sure. Uh, you know, it was a tough decision for me. Um, you know, I, I left Penn two years ago when I graduated, went up Columbia, coached up there for two years with uh, Coach Buckley, and, and I had a great experience while I was up there, a uh, great group of kids up there, they all work hard. Um, last year when uh, Coach Jones left and took the job as the U.S. national team coach, um, Coach Eider moved in and took over the position, and they never really filled the, the other assistant position um, once Coach Eider was named head coach. Um, so there was an open position down here. Um, I was pretty busy up in, in, in New York at the time. Um, I wasn't going to come down here last year in the middle of the season. Um, so this spring we started talking a little bit, and I had to make a real tough decision um, to leave a bunch of kids that, uh, that I'd, I'd worked with for two years and a couple kids that I recruited up there. Um, but in the end, you know, it's, this is my alma mater, and uh, it's a place that I, I put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears into for, uh, for a couple of years. Place where I feel comfortable, where I feel at home, and and I think is one of the greatest places on the planet. So uh, it was a tough decision, and I, I'm excited to be back and right. help these guys. Okay, so you're gonna be back here to help your alma mater. That's got to be pretty cool. But you now walking around with you today, I, I, I'm kind of getting the, the maybe the the welcoming committee with you a little bit. <laughs> People are, are glad to have you back. I mean, you got the Philly cheesesteak guy. Hey, Matt, welcome back. Uh, how does that feel to know that you're so welcome and and, and that they really want you back here? Uh, you know, it, that's a great feeling, and, and knowing that, that people wanted me here and that me being here is an important thing to the university as a whole, not just to, to Penn Wrestling, is uh, a, it's a very flattering and, uh, and humbling uh, feeling to have. Um, you know, the school meant a lot to me, and it's, it's good to know that what I was able to do to help this university while I was here meant a lot to, to people around here as well. Okay, do you think that you being here, you being the product that you were produced, three-time All-American, two-time NCAA champ, do you think that shows kids, yeah, you can get it done at Penn. I'm here, I'm, I'm back here. Do you think that's something that is going to be very good for recruiting and, and showing, hey, I believe in it, I'm back here, that's why I believe in it? Uh, well, I hope so, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to see the results of that in, in, in a few weeks here. Um, I, I firmly believe that what I did here is... is uh, feasible by most of the kids who come to this, this school. Uh, we recruit kids to come here to compete for national titles, to compete for uh, that All-American uh, platform. And and I'm looking for those guys who really do believe that you can do it. There's a pretty common perception out there that if you wrestle for an Ivy League school, you know, there's only select individuals that can do well. And, and I don't necessarily think that's the case. I, I think that if, if you're willing to put the time in to, to do the school work and make sure that side's taken care of, that they're wrestling, if you're willing to work hard, that'll come along with it as well. Hey, New Jersey was uh, represented extremely well in the last, you know, this past NCAAs. You had uh, multiple finalists, multiple champions. As a matter of fact, do you think that you kind of almost led the charge recently here for, for New Jersey guys, almost like coming back on top? Um, I don't think that's the case. No, I, th I think there's been Jersey guys in the mix and the nation's elite for, for years, and you can go back to uh, the Pritzloff brothers and, and back beyond them, um, to, you know, the Fricks and, and guys of years past. Um, you know, New Jersey is, is traditionally a very strong state in wrestling. Um, one of the few states with one state championship left, so when you go down and you watch New Jersey state championships, you got the cream of the crop coming out, and, uh, you know, those guys, they don't win a, a single state championship by, by uh messing around in the, in the room and not working hard. Those guys have to put the time in to do well. And you'll see it paying off at the NCAA level. And you know, this year is a prime example. You know, there's, there's I think five or six guys in the NCAA finals from the state of New Jersey. And, you know, we're proud of, of our state and, and pr proud to see them do well. And, you know, I definitely can't claim that I'm one of the guys who led the charge. But uh, you know, it's, it's, it was a good experience to, to be a New Jersey guy doing well uh, in the national scene. Can we know what you've done as an athlete here? What are you going to bring to the coaching staff here at the University of Penn? Uh, I consider myself a student of the sport. I, I love wrestling. I, I uh, can sit down and watch matches all day. I love picking them apart, figuring out new technique, and, and um, you know, trying to adapt that to the guys in the room. 
Uh, so hopefully on the technical side I can I can help. Um, but also as an alum, I hope that I can help share my experience and how I balanced everything when I was here and and you know how I was able to put it all together to, to do well and, and to be competitive nationally. Um, and share that with these guys who come in from year one through seniors, uh, just to get them to to understand that you know they can be successful and, and you know it's it's not as hard as people make it out to be.